afternoon, everybody. It's our Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So, not really a whole lot to talk about here over the U.S. in particular when it comes to weather. It's been a pretty quiet few days. It has been pretty cold, and there have even been a couple of pockets where we've gotten sh snow showers, especially over towards the Appalachians right now. Uh, I would expect chances for that to continue over the next few days here. Before a little bit of a change occurs where we start to see a little bit of a warm-up out towards the middle and eastern parts of the U.S., out west it's actually going to get a little bit chilly for a brief period, and then we're going to kind of flip-flop back and forth for a bit. But today we're going to be taking a look at the tropics because we still have this pesky little Invest 94L here hanging around. Low chance of development. At one point this did actually go all the way up to a 50% chance of development, but it since then, of course, has dropped do have the secondary disturbance that could form over here towards Central America. Very low chance as well, 20%. But looking at these storms, because this at one point was a major concern for Florida. Oh, well, I wouldn't even call it major, but it was kind of something that we were very leery of. We had two major hurricanes make landfall in Florida within the course of two weeks, which is very rare and less than desirable to say the least. But... As far as 94L is concerned, right now, not very impressive, not formed up well at all. Starting to see a little bit of storm convection towards the center. But even so, not really a whole lot to be concerned with here. Another thing to make note of here, as my model jumped forward a little faster than expected, the environment out ahead of 94L is not all that impressive. As you can see here, if you look closely as well, this other area of interest looks like it's going to be going towards central Mexico here. And a big reason I'm not too concerned with what 94L could do is actually because of the very trough that we're dealing with right now over the eastern half of the U.S. This is going to help either push this thing out to see or keep it bogged down to the south here. In this environment right here also, this storm is not going to be able to form well at all. It's probably going to get torn apart if anything else. But... Beyond that point, you can see that environment, especially as we go further along here right now, isn't super favorable for tropical development. A lot of wind shear, very strong wind shear at that over the Gulf and over the northern parts of the Caribbean, especially over the main development region. So looks like in the short term, we might be catching a little bit of a break, which is very much welcome. I'm sure that all of us are pretty ecstatic about that, myself included, because Two major hurricanes in two weeks, that was a lot to cover, not going to lie. But in any case, though, we'll be watching towards the end of the month, maybe the beginning of November for some changes. But even so, it still doesn't look like the most impressive environment I've ever seen. Keep in mind, this is still very much prone to changing. So not set in stone, but things are looking pretty good for us in regards to the tropical environment here. Good in regards to slow development. It's nothing that really is threatening at the moment. I guess that's the best way to put it. Now, we are still watching for moisture here and there towards the tropics as a whole, especially over towards the Gulf. Gulf of Mexico does look like it tries to kick back in a little bit, but I think this blocking high that's just off the northeast coast here is going to help keep things at bay with that. Also going to help keep the temperatures a bit cool. Then as time goes on here, you can see that Saharan dust has been kind of making its way back into the picture here. Towards the end of the month, again, a couple of chances for maybe a low pressure center to form here. But like I said, the environment is kind of stuck in the middle here. There's plenty of areas where there's moisture in play and there's plenty of dry air in play. So I'm not really too concerned in regards for tropical development right now. Of course, if things change, we'll have update videos from there. Now, going back to 94L here, another look at it on satellite, not really all that impressive. And with the environment that's out ahead of it, not really expecting much in the way of intensity here. This can and may very well likely become Nadine, which would be our next name for a tropical storm. Very few models have this pushing towards hurricane. Only one model has this pushing towards category two. So, like I said, as far as intensity is concerned, I'm not very much worried about that at all. It will be a heavy rainmaker for anyone that's over towards the Antilles, Hispaniola, Bahamas, etc., maybe even Cuba. But not really concerned in regards to much greater threats beyond that point. 
So looking at tropical guidance here, notice nothing going towards the US right now. Everything just kind of gets kicked out either to sea or pushed down to the south and pretty much kind of stuck there at this point. So some good news to be had here on this one. I like delivering this kind of news here. We'll look, compare a couple of other models, but pretty much seeing the same thing across the board. And this is over a week's time that we're looking at on here as well. So a lot of good news to be had here for a change. We aren't all about talking about the dreary and awful weather here. But that being said, it's a pretty quick video. I wonder if this will even end up being a short with the new uh, policy that YouTube's come up with. Any of my fellow content creators on here that are watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow afternoon. Till then, take care. This is Tired Metal at Weatherman signing off.